Hey, Explorers, it's Jessica. And it's Robert. And today on Exploring the Local Life, we are going to talk about... What are we talking Robert, about? Robert, go! <laughs> the RP Nomads movie, Nomad Fest, and anything else that's on our minds. Yeah, oh, and we have a special reveal. Unless you've already been on our Facebook page, then you already know what the reveal is. Or unless yeah. you're a patron, you'll know there too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Be cool, be a patron. That's uh, right. Oh, we've got a viewer. If you want to pop in and O2, oh, awesome. Let us know. Oh, I can't see the comments, I don't think. Here we go. I can see the comments now, I believe. So pop in. Let us know where you are calling from. Oh, calling from. It's been oh, a long oh, day, guys. Uh... <laughs> where you are tuning in from. And uh, yeah. So nomad our, our okay so you guys know we were in texas and we were filming for the rv nomads movie and i'm sure you guys know about nomad fest but maybe what you don't know is that it well, is actually well yes explain. somebody may not know all right so there's a full-time rving documentary called uh the rv nomads movie Feature and we feature length that's right and we are a part of the cast and crew we are not well, we're part of the cast. We're not the crew. Um, we're not the only ones either. And we're a small part. Yeah. It might just be like a whizzing by camera shot of us standing around. <laughs> we don't know. It's okay. But anyway, um, the movie will be premiering in October. And it will be premiering at Nomad Fest. What's Nomad Fest, you say? Nomad Fest is this awesome gathering of nomads, most notably RV nomads, and the movie will be premiering and there will be like talks and like get togethers and it's just gonna be like, I don't know how many RVers are gonna be there, 300 plus, Where? I don't. Where's the location for Nomad Fest? It is in Wellington, Texas. Where is Wellington? It is southeast of Amarillo, north of Childress, meaning way northwest of Dallas. There we go. And um, the whole thing actually is sold out. But if you did not purchase tickets, but you want to attend, you can actually do so, right? Yes, you can do it online. You can watch everything unfolding online. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can um, drop the link here for you guys. And um, it's $19. We don't see, like, this is not an affiliate link or anything I'm sending. This is a general uh, Nomad Fest link. Um, it's $19 and you can basically stream the entire weekend as it's happening. You can catch the movie, you can see the talks and all that stuff. So it'll be like you're right there with us, um, but just from the comfort of your own home. So let's see if this works. Robert, are you seeing any comments? Because I am not. I can't see any comments. I'm on my oh. phone. Oh gosh. Guys, we're not ignoring you. We can't see the comments. <laughs> Let me see if I get on my phone if I can see it. So anyway, we wanted to um because we haven't talked too much about it. Um part of it was just because, you know, it seems so far away and all of a sudden now, uh, it's only like two and a half months away. So I wanted to share share what we know about it. Now, do you want to mention who else is in the movie? It's a lot of people. <laughs> There's a bunch of us. Let me see if I can get the full list so I don't um Well, I don't I have the full list readily available. Well, some of the folks that are in there, some of these folks are just cast and some are cast and crew. First we have Hebert's Travels. Hebert's Travels have been really instrumental in helping pull this off. They really helped out as part of the crew and also telling their story, um, you know, about living on the road. Chicory's Travels also. And Chicory's Travels, I believe Hebert's Travels are also ex-military, both, both families. Uh, besides uh, them, we also have Morton's On the Move and, uh, and, and Tom Morton's actually the director of the movie, but he and his wife have been traveling in a big old fifth wheel. Uh, across the country. You may follow them on their YouTube channel as well. Chicories have a YouTube channel. Hebert's have a YouTube channel. All wonderful, wonderful folks. I mean, this whole process has been really professional in everything they've done. Um, also, Pauhana Travels, P-A-U-H-A-N-A. 
Is it Palhana Travels or something else? Palhana. I think you got it right. Okay, Palhana, as well as uh, I believe Geo Astro RV. Uh, are they going to be in it? They yeah. are. Oh, hey, look, um, First Class RV Adventures. They're going to be in it and they're on. Hey, guys. Hey. So I can see them now looking on my phone. Yep. So, uh, Epic, uh, excuse me, um, Geo Astro RV. Uh, they do a lot of uh, science based educational stuff on the road at national parks. Uh, we have uh, First Class RV Adventures, uh, Luis and Sandra, and their two kids, Mimi and Jules. <laughs> They're also involved, and they are in a fifth wheel. They've been on this journey now, what, at least two years, two, two and a half years as well. And they're extremely positive, lots of fun to hang out with. Really, really enjoy their company. Um, opting out of normal, um, or also in the movie. Who else? Who am I missing? I know I'm missing some. Driving really... and vibing, less junk, more journey. Driving and vibing, less junk, more journey. Um, always on liberty, more yeah. than a wheeling. More than a wheeling. <laughs> RV, chickadee. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Audrey Callahan music. And Shane. And Shane. Sandra, hop in. Who else is going to be in it? <laughs> RV Love. Yes. Judy Payne knows who's in it. Yeah. And uh, let me just take a moment here to say hey to Mark from Austin, Texas. Kat from the UK. Uh, Islander Sun from Florida. Josh from Illinois. First Class RV Adventures are from South Dakota right now, traveling. Um, Beverly from Connecticut. Um, let's see. Or one. There we go. And anyway, so yeah, it's going to be a really huge production. It was. I mean, the filming is now pretty much done. I think First Class RV Adventures is still filming their very last bit. But the general overall story arc has been filmed and now they're going to edit it. They're going to have two months to crunch it together. And uh, we don't know what it's going to be really. We're going to be right there with you guys sitting as audience members, uh, seeing it for the first time. So it's going to be really interesting to see like what it ends up actually really being. And, and also not just that, but like what the end result will be as far as like what kind of effect it'll actually have on the viewers, the people that are, and in fact, taking this journey with us via the movie and um, the whole weekend with uh, just meeting up with everybody. And um, I don't even know what to expect. I'm just going to show up ready to do what I'm, I need to do. It's going to be yeah. fantastic. Exactly. Everyone has a story. And these are all folks that have gone and decided to RV full time. Some have different reasons behind it. Some have uh, simple rigs like us. Some have big old motor homes. Some have fifth wheels or a, a 16 foot fiber stream. <laughs> so it's, it's all, you know, about how you make your way in life and how you've decided to, you know, I'm not, I don't need that house right now, you know, and at this point in our lives, we're going to hit the road. We're going to try to live as light as possible and go on about living life instead of just, you know, working, going back at home, maintaining a big house, which nothing wrong with that, but it's all different stories. So you're going to get to see a lot of different perspectives on full-time RV living and why people choose to do these things. And if you do go to Nomad Fest, if you're there, but otherwise, you know, like Jessica was saying, that it is sold out and you can actually participate by viewing online. But it's going to be. That's right. And I just posted the um, link. I apologize for cutting off, Robert. Um, I just posted the link. It's a clickable link. So feel free to hop on that. And then you can get more information on how the um, live streaming of the event is going to be. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't even know if we're going to have parking at Nomad Fest. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be great. We, but he means by that is we don't know if we're going to be like, if you're going to actually be there, if we're going to be parked like right next to you guys, or if there's going to be like cast and crew uh, sectioned off areas or how it's going to be. But regardless, it's going to be awesome and epic and fantastic. And we're looking forward to it. And on, aside from all of that, we do sort of have like a little special announcement for you guys is that we We'll actually have our own reality show on the Epic Nomad Network. And Robert's eating. <laughs> Let me give him a minute to, <laughs> to swallow and chew his food. Yeah, Epic Nomad TV. You know, this whole RV, RVing thing, it's not just a movie, but we're actually helping launch a platform of all about 
RV living, living off grid, individualistic type living. So RV, first class RV adventures, they're working on their own show here. That's going to begin airing. Uh, we're going to be filming later on this fall, winter about our story and where our lives are going. You know, we've been doing this now for two and a half, almost three years come October. What do the next three years look like? Are we going to continue to live like we're doing now? Are we going to make some other changes? Um, uh, in addition, not just us. So this is going to be big. And, and it's going to be, you know, you, you heard of Netflix, right? Well, we're going to beat them to the ground. Well, <laughs> in a nice way. <laughs> but it is very, you know, it's going to be a very similar thing. It's going to be subscriber based. You know, not we're not looking like nine bucks a month, uh, like Netflix or twelve ninety nine like Hulu, but definitely be a source for all things nomadic, all things RV, all things camping, all things all the things nomadic. Really, it's not just um, it's not just RVing. It's the nomads, whatever kind of nomads. But if you're a backpack nomad, or maybe somebody like Jill Sessa on your uh, you know motorcycle with a sidecar and your on your Ural motorcycle. It could be all sorts of things. I'm not saying she's in it. I, don't, I have no idea. Anyways, but anyways, if you're a nomadic, this is what it's about. The, you know, living, a, living and exploring the free life. Yeah, that's the name of our show, Exploring the Free Life. Right. And guys, I also popped in the link um, to that so you can get more information about that. Again, we're not the only ones having a show on there. We're just part of a whole grouping of nomads sharing their stories. It's a movement. Yeah, let me go back real quick. We've had some folks pop in. Let's see, many musings saying, loving your videos. Thank you so much. It's always nice to hear positive comments because sometimes we get people in here that, you know, are not the lost Texan. Uh, sorry, you said howdy before and I, I skipped it initially. TR Bolin, hey. And let's see, Beverly, do we travel together at the same time? Do you mean the uh, cast and crew of the Nomad TV group, or do me and Robert and I? Um, how did they choose the people to be in the movie? That is an excellent question. I'm not really sure what the criteria was. Really, we um, there were folks that were already part of the cast and crew that actually recommended us um to um eric odom who's the guy behind the guy behind the guy that had this idea for this story and just Not got just everybody idea. together huh a passion for it you know yeah so um i know that there were a lot of people that were talked to uh, approached and maybe people approached uh um eric and the other folks who are working on casting um, but I'm not really sure what the criteria was or anything like that. We just know that um, when, as soon as we got on the call, we were like, yeah, we want to do it. We don't even know what we're doing, but yes, <laughs> we we're in, right, Robert? We were like, yeah, we'll do it. I don't know what we're doing, but yeah, we'll be in a movie. Yeah, well, it was, it was a matter of, you know, a part of what we do on YouTube is tell our story, whether it's um, slide motor brakes on an RV or we had a bad day on the road or we had a great time of visiting, you know, a coffee shop. You know, we, we, we like to communicate the lifestyle of, of RVing and, and being out there, not just necessarily in one place, your whole, you know, life. I'm not just living on a vacation every two weeks out of a year, but you know, what can you do to get out and explore? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Many Musings was asking if um, for permission to embed our videos um on the outdoor website that they run absolutely you can embed using the embed code on youtube anybody that actually wants to do that absolutely awesome thank you for sharing our content let know, but let us know when you do what you're doing with it in case we have any questions yeah and um, let's, may, it works out so. we can cross it as well yes um joe says hi hello from reno um let's see thanks cat giving us a congratulations thank you so much oh man uh first class rv adventures was trying to use a super chat but it's not working darn it well thank you um let's see yeah judy keep your daydream is not part of it but i don't know maybe they're gonna at some point maybe be part of like the tv part the subscription television network part i don't really know yeah, because you know, this is this is not looking to be limited to, and it definitely is not limited to the cast of the RV Nomads movie, not at all. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're looking for folks from all walks of life. It's it's you know it's it's 
like like I was saying, RVEs, but Jessica reminded us it's everything nomadic. Oh, Mark, thank you. Did you have something to say? I see you came up on the super chat, but it doesn't, um, you didn't have a question or comment. Um, hey, uh, there's another Matt, Matt H. I'm gonna mess up your name if I try to say it. Hello from uh, Battle Creek, Michigan, hitting the road October 2019 full time. Whoop, whoop, awesome. That's exciting. What's your rig? Jessica, what's what's his rig? Oh yeah, but um, Matt, it doesn't say Matt. Let us know what Matt H. Let us know what your uh, what kind of rig you have. Whether it's a van, whether it's a fifth wheel, whether it's a bus. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, we meant to start this uh, broadcast at eight thirty, not like eight thirty-five or eight thirty-seven or whatever weird time we did. But of course, Robert and Jessica, being you know, we actually planned this one, and we still, when it came time to actually hit that button for. <laughs> to go live. I can remember how to share the screen with Robert because he is currently in Atlanta and I'm currently in uh, Mount Dora, Florida. <laughs> while he's eating his ramen the, noodles. Yeah, wild turkeys and the uh, turtles, tortoises. All kinds of exciting stuff. Hey, Jess, um, yeah. Jess, can you list all the wild animals that have been sighted at the property in the last month? Uh, wild turkey, rabbits, uh, bear, <laughs> black bear, yep. black bear, right up on the patio. Yeah, that's about it. Mm -hmm. Leo says hi from Houston. Um, Judy's asking if we're familiar with Keep Your Daydream. I, we know who they are, but we haven't really um, crossed paths with them, and we are communicated with them. Or I don't think I've ever watched any of their videos. Really? I think we have. I haven't. Oh, well, I guess what we're going to do some homework now. I know, I know. It's it's really hard when you're a content creator actually go out there and like, you know, if you're making YouTube videos, you're spending your time making YouTube videos and editing them and responding to comments. Um, really it's really hard to actually go and watch other people's videos. For me, anyway, I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one. But anyway, we kind of wanted to keep it short and sweet. I didn't know if anybody had any more questions about um, Nomad Fast or the upcoming television show, but we wanted to let you guys know because it's getting close to the time when these are actually going to be like, you know, Nomad Fest will be happening. And as much as we can, we're going to keep you guys posted on how that's going. And um, maybe even when we're there, I don't know. I don't know how busy we'll be. So. Yeah, we got to position the rig there early because I'm not going to get all the days off I wanted. Oh my goodness. Let's talk about that offline. <laughs> also, if you're traveling from Watertown or Pierre, South Dakota, go on California Pacific Airlines to Denver to your world destinations. <laughs> nice, baby. And out of Carlsbad November 1st. Okay, man, many musings was uh, listed her. Uh, at I think that's a photo of a lady. Um, her website, <laughs> my is 70, what, 724outdoors.com. So we'll check that out. Check out your website. But yeah, I think that's pretty much all that we were wanting to share with you guys. Because I, again, I don't want to keep repeating myself. I keep repeating myself. And yeah. if you're wondering where the kids are, I'm parked outside my parents' house on their driveway. So the kids are inside with them Just now so that I wouldn't have Legos getting thrown at my head or... Salami lips. We did a Facebook live and Nadia had salami lips while I was trying to do the video. So distracting. Robert, do you have any parting words? Yes, I wanted to say the reason I'm eating noodles was because we we're having trouble getting connected. So I lost faith and I was getting really hungry. So I started the noodle water boiling and then just got everything going and I, I just can't let it go cold on me. It's so typical. This is so us. This is this is the real life here, right here. Um, let's see, Matt H says he doesn't have a rig yet. Looking for a used pull behind to renovate. Awesome. Hey, you guys hey. had a part of our decision. Aw. Oh my gosh. I hope it goes well then, Matt. No <laughs> pressure. <laughs> uh, TR Bully says that uh, mooch docking is the best. We agree. Um, what is the link to donate to the Nomad movie? I don't remember. Ooh, okay. Uh, let me get that for you. Um, Kevin, congratulations. Thank you. 
so Lori DeBard, I, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to speak quickly and I'm tripping over my words. Kevin says he's a little uh, worried about his new venture. Hey, my RV ready. My, oh, have my RV ready. I have to finish selling everything. Hope to meet you guys on the road. Absolutely, Kevin. We would love to meet you. Yeah, selling all the stuff is, uh, yeah, it's normal to be excited and then also completely and utterly worried and freaked out that maybe this was a mistake. And then you're going to be like, their first week, you're going to be like laying there in your RV going, what did I just do? What have I done? What have I done? This was a mistake. Robert, if you could talk for a bit, I'm going to see if I can get that um, link okay. to the... Um, Uh, okay. about, uh, for the going full campaign time. for the movie. I'm trying to talk. <laughs> what so did what you say? I, I'm trying to speak and you keep interrupting. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, go. Okay. So one of the things about going full time, one of the, we had to do it in a short order, like in a month, we had to get rid of furniture, we had to get rid of stuff. Um, you know, look at everything that you have, especially look at things that you haven't touched in a year. You haven't touched it in two years, five years. If you haven't used it in five years, you're not going to need it. And if it's something sentimental, find a worthy family member. Sometimes a worthy friend is far worthier than a worthy family member. Uh, see if somebody will take something that you particularly value and gift it to them as something that's part of you. Otherwise, Goodwill will be happy to take everything from you. Uh, Salvation Army will take donations from you. Make sure to get a receipt if it's you know a lot of stuff. But you know it's it's part of a process that we continually undergo as well uh, on the RV is decluttering. Um, even now, you know, I have clothes that I need to get rid of that, you know, just, just pile up. Um, with RVs, weight is always a consideration. You don't want to be overweight. So, you know, think about, hey, I want to be safe on the road. I can't carry everything. So unload some stuff. Um, it is a psychological process because, you know, uh, oftentimes in society, success is defined by the size of your house, where it's located, or the car that you drive. You know, uh, where I work, we're a small company, and everybody's pretty much amused that we live in a travel trailer. But, you know, when we dig further, we realize that one of our directors of maintenance, when he's in Atlanta, lives in his fifth wheel. Uh, we had another mechanic. He bought a travel trailer and lived in it full time. The, um, the president of the company has, has RV'd. <laughs> so they all, you know, all understood. And it's, it's sometimes a lot more folks have RV experiences and camping experiences then then come out in day-to-day -day conversation. Um, we decided to live a life that is not dependent on the house. Doesn't mean that we're not going to get a house again. Doesn't mean that we're not going to have land again. Uh, just means that for us, this is what's working for us. Um, there are challenges. Um, uh, one of, one of y'all commented, I'm sorry, I can't see the comments from where I am, commented about um, the Jessica and I traveled together. Well, when we move the RV, we are going together. We are often, we're semi-nomadic uh, most of the year because my job is location-centric in the Northwest Atlanta area, uh, but we shift from campground to campground every one to two to three months. Um, sometimes we just get tired of a place or sometimes we park somewhere that's a little bit expensive, but has asphalt and nice and level and close to work for a shorter commute. But then we'll range out an hour and a half away from my job. Um, so it's all variable. You know, we try to mix it up and definitely try to take time off so that we can take a big yearly trip or maybe two big trips a year. So RV life is what you make of it. It could be full time on the road, traveling around the country all year long if your work allows it or if you're retired. It could be semi nomadic. It could be you only travel when it's warm or you go south to Florida and Texas, Alabama, Mississippi, uh, Arizona, California, New Mexico when it gets um, cold. So it's all how you want to do it. Hey, Robert, may I uh, step jump in real quick? Yes, I came to a natural stop. Awesome. Um, so RV SWAT was asking about the uh, link to donate to the movie. Um, for those of you, I went ahead and posted it. It's a clickable link. It's the Indiegogo link. And for those of you that are not aware, currently um, what's remaining is post-production. So all the editing stuff. And um, the goal is to raise $25,000 total. Um, this was started by Eric Odom, who's the guy behind the guy, behind the guy, the guy that said, hey, let's make a movie and got all of us together, the cast and crew, and also sponsors to jump aboard and be a part of this whole movie project. Um, so there's 12 days left. 
And um, basically it's just, sorry, my cat is sneezing in the background. It talks about that link will lead you to the campaign and it'll talk about um, what's happening, what has happened so far, why we're raising this money at the end here, uh, what the story is kind of about, who the sponsors are, who the crew is and who the cast is. Um, and yeah, so follow that link to find out more. And we've had some other folks um, hop in with some questions as well. What are those questions, Jessica? Let me see here. Uh, RV Swat was in the middle of filming a kit RV Kitchen episode and saw we were live and had to tune in. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry to interrupt your video, though. Oh, boy. Um, let's see. TR Bolin, it took him two years to get rid of all the stuff. Yeah, we still have stuff in my dad's garage, actually, right now that I have they to go through. Um, what'd you say, Robert? Your parents get a little bit upset at the very, I mean, it's not a lot of stuff at all. Seriously. It's not mom. If you're watching, I love you. <laughs> I love y'all too. Um, let's see. Kevin says 31 years of marriage and all I got was my best bud, my dog and my clothes. Uh Oh, um, and RV SWAT donated all furniture and kitchen stuff to a family had lost everything in a fire. That's very, Good that you did that. And Tierra Bolin has all this stuff in storage. Yeah, my parents' house is sort of uh, storage. But anyway, guys, I think we probably need to wrap up. Hopefully, um, you got all those links and questions answered. And if not, um, feel free to um, hop on into the comments because even after this um, replay, you're watching the replay or whatever, we can go back and answer those uh, comments for you. So do you have any parting words, Robert? Parting words. Thank you all for watching. It's been a blast. We're going to do this more often. I think we can finally do it on a scheduled basis, Jess. You know, we're getting into the groove that we're more comfortable in front of it. Again, conversations we should have offline. Why not? We're, we're, we're here right now with a bunch of our... Wow. Well, we could always go in and... Um, oh, First Class RV Adventures. I love you guys. Keep them coming. Thank you so much. I used the super chat. <laughs> So, you guys thank you sorry this is the first time we've had folks jump on the super chat thank you but anyway okay we're gonna wrap up because the kids are gonna be all like what's happening thank you for watching leave any comments or questions below we love you thank you for using the super, super chat matt and a first class rv adventures we will catch you guys later i plan to post another video hopefully uh friday what's it about right. <laughs> um, I have no idea yet. All right. Love you guys. Right. Bye. Bye.